Hey everyone, in my last video I showed off the 3D printed smoke grenade I made. I used a length of black powder fuse as the delay element. Although it worked pretty well, I decided to make a new, more dependable one, similar to what's used in real military grenades. This video is for educational purposes only, to provide an overview of gasless compositions. It is not a tutorial on how to make grenade delays. For additional information, I recommend consulting relevant pyrotechnic literature. Black powder delays are widely used in pyrotechnics, either as tubes of pressed black powder or simply as a length of fuse. They are perfectly suitable for safe pyrotechnics like fireworks or smoke grenades, but they aren't used for more serious devices like hand grenades, where increased reliability is critical. So why is black powder a poor choice for delays? Here's why. First, it's prone to deflagration. A trail of loose powder is an extreme example, but if there are any voids or cracks in the delay composition, it can burn instantly. Voids can appear for various reasons, including manufacturing defects, damage or improper storage. The second reason black powder isn't great for delays is that its burn rate isn't constant, it's heavily dependent on pressure. A more reliable alternative to black powder delays used in military technology is gasless or more accurately low gas compositions. Their key feature is that they release very little gas when they burn and their burn rate is practically independent of pressure. These compositions are essentially various types of thermites. Here are some typical gasless mixtures and the burn times they can provide. I needed a delay of a few seconds, so I chose a relatively accessible mixture of barium chromate and boron from these options. I bought the barium chromate from a chemical supply store and I prepared the boron myself by burning a mixture of magnesium and boric acid. I ground the magnesium in a ball mill. The reaction was a bit more aggressive than I expected, probably because the magnesium was ground so finely, but I still got the boron I needed. To purify the amorphous boron, I boiled it for several hours in diluted hydrochloric acid. So here's my boron. I simply mix this powder with the barium chromate. This is what it looks like when it burns. Here's the same composition, but with a nitrocellulose binder. I hammered the mixture into an insulin syringe. Unfortunately, it turned out the mixture is difficult to ignite. It won't ignite from black powder alone. For reliable ignition, I pressed intermediate layers with 20% and 30% black powder on top. The military uses special low-gas igniter mixtures for this purpose, but this method also works. The burn rate turned out to be 4 mm per second, which was a bit unexpected. Based on the literature, I was expecting at least one centimeter per second, but that's okay. It doesn't stop me from making a delay element. I just trimmed the delay tube for the grenade down to 1.5 centimeters to get a burn time of about three seconds. Here's what the delay looks like when it's assembled in the fuse. Three seconds. For the final test, I decided to use something genuinely dangerous. This thermite grenade is perfect for that. Trust me, you do not want an unreliable delay in a thermite grenade. worked as expected. That's all. See you in the next video.